Hello and welcome to the lecture about the COF Globalization Index. I am Florian Helk. And I am Savina Kigli. We are both researchers at COF. In this lecture, we will guide you through the construction of the COF Globalization Index and we'll discuss its application. But first, we will show you what globalization is about and why we are interested in measuring it. We will then talk about the selection of variables for the COF Globalization Index. After having selected our variables of interest, we need to talk about normalization, weighting and aggregation of the variables in order to calculate the final index. We will then present you the result of our latest vintage of the COF Globalization Index and to conclude, Niklas Potrafke from the IFO Institute in Munich will talk about how he applies the COF Globalization Index in his research. But first we need to answer the question, what is globalization and how do we define it? Globalization is a very broad and encompassing concept. Just think of the following examples. The world has economically become more and more integrated during the last 40 years. World trade grew much faster than the world economy. The average trade to GDP ratio per country was 54% in 1970. It is almost 100% today. Not only goods and services, but also information is more and more shared across borders. International calls, for example, have doubled since the 1970s. Globalization can also include cultural approximation. Take McDonald's, for example. 40 years ago, McDonald's was only present in a handful of countries. Today, it is present in over 100 countries in every part of the world, with an average of 168 restaurants per country. International cooperation between countries has also increased dramatically. The average number of international treaties per country has risen from 32 to 152 in the last 40 years. All these examples express in one way or another what globalization is about. Globalization is meant to describe the process of creating networks of connections among actors at multi-continental distances, mediated through a variety of flows, including people, information and ideas, capital and goods. It is a process that erodes national boundaries, integrates national economies, cultures, technologies and governance. But why are we interested in measuring globalization? because globalization can have an impact on different outcomes in our lives. For example, it is often stated that a higher level of globalization can spur economic growth in a country. It is also stated sometimes that globalization can lead to a higher income inequality within a country or that globalization leads to cultural assimilation. If you want to analyze such questions scientifically, and derive policy implications, it is crucial to measure globalization adequately. And this is the aim of the COF Globalization Index. In the following sections of the lecture, we will guide you through the construction of the COF Globalization Index. I will therefore hand over to Savina, who will show you how we selected the variables for our index.